One of the things that Luisa and I share in our relationship coaching is the fact that our relationship, our marriage exists in the context of commitments, not expectations. Additionally, we have very specific rules, if you will, ground rules, or, or another way to say it is additional commitments around how we, how we communicate. I shared in a previous video how when you've got two coaches living under the same roof, uh, you got to be careful that you're not uh, always coaching each other, right? Sometimes you want coaching and sometimes people just want to be heard. So that's important. So the other day, uh, Luis was sitting down with me and, and she asked and began to share about how some of my communication was showing up and my jumping to coaching, my use of certain pronouns. And uh, I, I'm saying it in a very certain way because at the time it showed up to me as being nitpicky, naggy even. And all I kept thinking was, doesn't she know how busy I am? Doesn't she know how many clients I'm managing and how much is going on? Can't she just cut me a break here? Doesn't she understand that I'm overwhelmed? I've got too much going on. I don't have time. I don't have the energy to communicate well. Just, you know, cut me some slack. Now, that's not what came out. As she was speaking to me, I, I felt myself getting activated. I felt those voices, that, uh, that talk track coming up. And that was my key that uh, ego was working some mischief. So I took some deep breaths and I stopped and I, and I do the exercises that I do to, to get back to my center point. And, and what I saw was, was pretty funny, right? Halfway through the conversation, I actually said, hey, can you give me a minute or two? And uh, I sat, a little bit of peace and quiet for a moment. And I started laughing. I started chuckling because to me, it showed up as, as downright silly, funny, amusing that my ego was trying to sell me on the story that this stuff that I'm doing out here in, in, my, in my professional life is more important than my, my day-to-day living with the woman I've chosen to spend my life with. Think about that, right? Ego is trying to sell you on the fact that I don't have time to communicate properly with you. I don't have time to choose my words carefully because I'm doing all this important stuff over here. <laughs> it's funny, right? Anyway, uh, I thought I'd share that. Maybe take a look in your own world where, you know, whether it's with your spouse, with your kids, and uh, take a look at where you're using how busy you are, how stressful work is, as a reason not to focus where we actually want to focus. Now, here's the catch. I don't want you to feel bad about it. I don't want you to feel guilty. Don't beat yourself up. Laugh, because it's funny. It's funny that your ego, and my ego, and everybody's ego, is... Uh, trying to play that trick on you. Don't let it run the play. Make fun of your ego and go to your, your wife and your spouse, your significant other, your children, your best friend and say, listen, I, I want to share something that showed up for me. It was really funny. I realized my ego was trying to convince me that what I did out here was stepping on my real life. And I want to fix that. Have a great day.